As we've seen from the lectures, sickle cell disease in India is concentrated in specific regions that are particularly affected by malaria. In these areas, it's village populations who are most severely affected. Each of these villages is home to several thousand people. We were able to meet these people through projects developed by Dr. Giotish Patel and Dr. Yazdi Italia, both of whom work in the province of Gujarat. Gujarat is situated in the central part of the eastern Indian subcontinent. It's one of the provinces where sickle cell disease is most prevalent. That's why the projects being developed there are seen by the Indian health authorities as the spearhead against this disease. Dr. Giotish Patel, who's a pediatrician, set out to develop a screening and treatment program in the villages. He designed a mobile unit for this purpose. The village, having agreed to the screening and treatment process, becomes the sole promoter of this initiative, while Dr. Patel and his team are simply privileged partners. That's why the coordinator of the project is the cornerstone of the structure, as Dr. Patel explains. Uh, see, very important thing is here that uh, Mr. Narendra Gramit, right, who is a resident of this region, and he is a, a well-known person. He has his, his office based in Gandhinagar, right? So he is in command of this area. At the same time, he is able to convince the people here. At the same time, sensitization of the society is there to a great extent. In that case, uh, local people, including the head of the village, you know, there are leaders, uh, uh, spiritual leaders, uh, the you know, uh, political leaders, social leaders, right? They all come under one roof uh, for this sickle issue, right? So there is a good formation of the village committee, which becomes a backbone for the success of this project. Yeah. Hello. Once the village officials have decided to join the project, a date is agreed on which as many people as possible will be assembled. This includes, of course, not only children and young people in the village, but adults as well. On this occasion, the village will welcome the medical team with a welcoming ceremony. For Jyotish Patel, another aim is to provide as much information as possible. His teaching method is simple. He uses signboards to explain what the disease is and how it's transmitted. This shows the villagers how important it is to have a test. If a heterozygous or homozygous couple marry, he explains how important it is to carry out early screening for sickle cell disease at birth. Each individual is invited to have a test, which consists of a simple blood test. This is a registration counter for uh, village members wherein they have come for uh, sickle cell anemia as well as uh, This is the registration for the blood sampling. So here uh, they have uh, mentioned about the name of the project, there is a name of the individual, there is a number mentioned here and whether she is male or the female that is also made along with the age and there is a specific number which is allocated to an individual and they will be given corresponding uh, EDTA bulb for their sampling of the blood. So they will be carrying that tube along with and will be going to a place where a phlebotomy would be done for sample collection as far as blood is concerned. The aim is not to forbid couples who are at risk from marrying or having children, but to warn them so that any child who is affected by sickle cell disease will receive the best possible care. So uh, sickle cell disease individuals are taken care by the health cell, uh, sickle cell health worker. At the same time, sickle cell trait individuals are uh, told about the possibilities of uh, you know marriages that whom they should be marrying right and it is their choice that what to accept and what not to accept so in a way it is a socio medical uh, association wherein uh, this uh, sickle cell anemia problem is addressed upon of course it's impossible to screen the entire population of a village at once with this in mind dr patel's team will return at a later date he explains to us the best way of managing so many people at once. It's a huge task to screen whole village. 
how it is possible but it is one time once you screen the whole village right and next year you will have hardly 10 15 individuals to be screened so it is not an extra effort in fact this should, this program is designed in such a way that we have a uh, work ahead for a couple of days but it uh, solves your issue of sickle cell anemia for uh, years to come so that is the beauty of sickle cell swasuraksha abhiyan to carry out these screening activities Dr. Patel's team consists of about 15 nurses, all trained in treatment and screening for sickle cell disease. The officials appointed by the village are of course involved in registering the individuals for screening. Community involvement is there, leaders involvement is there, villagers involvement is there, then the commitment of the doctor is there. So. Uh, it must be propagated, accepted, and implemented by uh, by the particular agencies who are doing this uh, uh, sickle cell movement. So I think this is a very nice program because we are in we are involving whole village, irrespective of religion, irrespective of their political ideologies, irrespective of their uh, economic strata. We are involving them. So it is well accepted by the people, I think. It is well accepted by the people. Because in our program, responsibility is there. We are taking responsibility for a long time, not for this program only. For a long time, we will ta uh, take care of that. And for that purpose, we have formulated a village committee of young boys and girls who will look after the each and every case of this village. And they will inform to the doctor, they will inform to me, and, and we will uh, manage them. And the doctor is all the time ready to serve them. That is the beauty, I think. That, 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 that is the, I think, core of the whole uh, project, I think. This is also the opportunity for the medical team to invite sickle cell patients for a consultation so that they can talk about their problems. They receive free medications and advice. Work begins in the morning and is finished by mid-afternoon. Then it's time to return to Bardoli, where Dr. Patel has his hospital and his own laboratory. His wife and an honorary professor of haematology process the samples. The solubility test is carried out for each one. As you know, if these are positive, Electrophoresis has to be carried out. Their work continues deep into the night. At Gunghadi, out of 601 individuals tested, 112, or 19 percent, had sickle trait, and eight people, or 1.3 percent, actually had the disease. This actually corresponds to the figures that have been calculated for the province of Gujarat. So now it's time for us to set out on the road for Valsad, in the south of the province of Gujarat. Dr. Yazdi Italia is planning to take us to an urban hospital where people with sickle cell disease are treated. Due to the exodus from the countryside that is taking place in India, it's important to have a healthcare institution to receive these patients. This is not a specific satellite, and these patients also receive their treatment completely free of charge. Since pregnancies are riskier for people with sickle cell disease than for other women, they're invited to give birth in hospital. The project, set up by Dr. Yazdi Italia, who's head of the blood bank in Valsad, has brought in both governmental and non-governmental organizations. The screening process carried out in the villages is not the result of a request from them, but it's an official program to combat sickle cell disease. As well as the difference in scale, the methods used for blood sampling and analysis are also different. 
a doctor coordinating the program, explained to us that it's absolutely vital that people close to the villagers should attend and persuade them to come for screening. In 2008, in our project, Sickle Cell Anemia project, we have uh, recruited uh, Sickle Cell Anemia counsellors and as well as laboratory technicians, which are deputed to the uh, primary health centres. They go in uh, field and villages, house to house, and they find out the patients uh, which are having trait or disease. And they, for, for trait patients, they counsel for marriage counselling, not to marry with another uh, sickle positive uh, partner. So marriage counselling is done by these our uh, counsellors, as well as these counsellors also visit the disease patients regularly, monthly, and they carry this patient to a primary health centre for regular checkup. And uh, they monitor that uh, regular for uh, tablet folic acid has been uh, distributed to them or not, and they are uh, ingesting that uh, tablet regularly or not. So they monitor this uh, program very well. By these sickle cell counselors also, they uh, give health uh, education to the community, and awareness uh, programs are carried out by these counselors. So my, most of the uh, persons, those who are not tested. Uh, for sickle cell, they also come forward for the sickle cell uh, testing. And our uh, health workers, our ASA workers, our Angarve grassroots level workers, our uh, um, health workers, uh, counsellors, and they all together go in the field and they collect these samples by house to house visit also. And we screen it for DTT uh, testing, uh, soluble, this is a soluble test for a sickle cell positive. And once the uh, person find uh, found positive for sickle uh, sickling positive. The sample has been uh, sent to Valsal Rakdan Kendra, where by HPLC method, uh, whether the patient is a uh, trait or disease is uh, confirmed, and then regular follow up of the patient is carried out. Also, we carry bi monthly or tri uh, tri monthly uh, some this type of uh, medical checkup uh, camps for the disease patients those who are having some complications and by our physician, orthopedic surgeon, gynecologist and surgeons, these patients are examined and if they are having any complications or any problems, their problems are solved and they are treated at these camps. As in Gunkhadi, Professor Graham Sargent is present. So a number of consultations are available for the most serious cases, both children and adults. Although the project is different, the village inhabitants in the south of Gujarat enjoy an additional major advantage. People with sickle cell disease who suffer from a severe crisis can be treated within one hour of calling an emergency service. In such a huge region, this amounts to something of a record. All this screening, this testing is done free. All the patients who are having crisis, they are transported or they are referred to nearby a referral centre by our government vehicles, government ambulances or there is 108 emergency services which has been provided by our state government. In our district there are 13 locations and this is uh, Vasda block. There are three locations of this 108 sir, uh, ambulance services. Whenever we dial 108, within 10 to 15 minutes the vehicle ambulance come to the uh, patient's house wherever the patient is there and they carry the patient to the nearby centre and this service is also free and even when the uh, patient in crisis or any uh, during any delivery, when mother is uh, required any blood transfusion, this blood transfusion is also provided free by our uh, all the blood banks. Once blood samples have been taken, they're quickly taken to Valsad, where they can be analysed, catalogued, and the results sent out to the relevant doctor. As you can see, there are some differences between the approach taken by Dr. Patel and Dr. Italia, but the aim is the same, to provide help for these populations who are in great need. This is because although the sickle cell phenotype is less severe in India than in other parts of the world, these patients will nonetheless continue to suffer throughout their lives. <laughs>